After going 8th overall to Arizona, expectations were pretty high for a defensive standout out of Clemson. But following his unusual rookie season, there are a ton of questions. So I figured it would be the time to ask, what's up with Isaiah Simmons? He's gonna take it outside, he's got a lane. Newton looking for the first down and getting it and dipped out of bounds. In his four seasons at Clemson, Isaiah made his way up the roster to dominate as one of the best, if not the best linebackers in college football as a senior. Not only was Isaiah just a great pure backer, but he displayed unique versatility with his ability to not only take snaps as a linebacker, but also a defensive end, cornerback, and even safety. Isaiah's play style is pretty similar to that of a big part of the Legion of Boom and Cam Chancellor. The two both have abnormal size at the position, with Cam standing at a commanding 6'3", 225, and Isaiah a ridiculous 6'4", 235. Not only do they both share a similar stature, but they both can be used all over the defense, and that level of versatility helped Cam and the Seahawks win a Super Bowl. So it'll be very interesting to see what Isaiah can do with it. Anyways, out of college, Isaiah was one of the top prospects going into the draft, and many had him going top 5 to a team like Detroit. Instead of going to the Lions, Detroit decided to pick up Jeff Okuda out of Ohio State, and Isaiah fell to the Cardinals at the 8th pick. As a rookie, Isaiah was joining a team that was coming off of a 5-win season in one of the toughest divisions in football. Not only was Isaiah just coming to AZ, but a top 3 wideout in DeAndre Hopkins made the move, and things were definitely looking up for the team. After starting off 4-2, the Cardinals went up against Seattle in a huge divisional matchup. The game was back and forth from the get-go and went to overtime after a last second field goal by Gonzalez. After each team traded unsuccessful drives back and forth, the Seahawks were moving down the field until Pass is intercepted by Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah had his first interception in one of the biggest plays of the season, and the Cardinals used the momentum to win the game 37-34. Following the clutch victory at home, the Cardinals lost their mojo and went 3-6 the rest of the season to end 8-8 eight eight as they ended up missing the playoffs. Altogether, Isaiah did pretty well in his first year with the Cardinals as he had 54 tackles, 2 sacks, a forced fumble, and that pick against Seattle. The stats look a bit underwhelming, but make sense when you consider the lack of snaps he played. All of this on a defense that needs all the help it can get seems a bit off, and it's confusing why he wasn't used nearly as much as he should be. But thankfully for Isaiah, the Cardinals have reinforcements going into 21, with not only Chandler Jones back from injury, or Tulsa standout Xavier Collins, but a star in JJ Watt and Malcolm Butler both fresh off the AFC South. And although the new pieces are great, 2021 is going to be a real testing period for not only guys like Malcolm Butler and AJ Green, but also a certain head coach. Cliff Kingsbury hasn't done much since he's gotten here, so the season will likely determine what he's able to do in the future. But in Isaiah's case, he is looking for much more opportunities that will almost certainly come for a team that is looking for Lombardi. If you are curious as to why Isaiah's stats dipped after the Seattle game, he ended up playing in less than 30% of the team snaps following the pick against the Seahawks. And although he was limited, the team was able to recognize his Swiss Army knife versatility as they put him all over the defense to finish off the year. In fact, Isaiah stepped up in the coverage game to finish off the year by limiting production to only 2 catches for 35 yards on 5 targets against him. If his late season performance carries over to 21, then Isaiah might get that extra workload that he is craving. Hopefully the Cardinals are able to recognize what a talent they have in Isaiah and give him much more to work with in the future. The fact that Isaiah played less than 400 snaps as a rookie is very sad to see, especially when you consider how underwhelming the team played on the defensive side that year. If Isaiah can produce as well as he did that season and play around 80% of snaps, then he could put up over 120 tackles, 5 sacks, and a few picks as a cherry on top. That stat line sounds much better than 54 tackles, 2 sacks, and a pick, but could easily be a reality if he is given a greater workload. Considering his ridiculous potential, many are anticipating a breakout year for Isaiah, and I second that. As long as Isaiah is given much more stuff to work with, I think that he could easily produce on just a whole nother level. But all this is not up to us, and it's really up to whether or not Vance Joseph believes in Isaiah's ability. And so I hope he listens to the peanut gallery and gives some love to a soon-to-be stud in Isaiah. You know what? Let's say that Isaiah gets much more production and he's given much more snaps. Although it would be great, I think he will still have limited production now that Xavier Collins is in the same linebacking core. This isn't a bad thing by any means, but I just have a feeling that Isaiah isn't going to put up crazy numbers now that Xavier Collins is going to be around the same area. 
But in reality, I don't think the production will be the least of their worries, as they too have the potential to become one of the most dangerous linebacking cores in the league. You may be thinking, whoa, whoa, that's a bit much. But if Zavin is able to produce nearly as well as he did at Tulsa, and Isaiah can do the stuff he did in 2020, then we may be in for a show. Imagine a defense with Chandler Jones and JJ Watt in the front, Zavin and Isaiah in the core, and Buddha at the back. Sounds pretty insane. Although a great idea in paper, I feel like there is bound to be struggles with Chandler coming off of injury, and upon that, JJ, Zavin, and Malcolm adjusting to a whole new team, which just so happens to be in one of the toughest divisions in the NFL. Keep in mind that the Cardinals have to play the Seahawks, Rams, and 49ers twice, in what are some of the most important games of the season. Last year, the Cardinals crumbled to the pressure and lost their last two games of the season to the 49ers and then Seahawks. Thankfully, they have a lot of new pieces this time, but a big worry is the coaching staff behind them. Does Cliff have what it takes to get a loaded team to any success is one of the biggest questions for this next season, and I don't really know how to answer it yet. I mean, if the team misses the playoffs, then it's pretty much a lock that Cliff is going to be fired. So for him and the team as a whole, I'm really hoping they show out in 21. In Isaiah's case, he seems motivated to win and have success like he did at Clemson. So I'm not too worried about him, and I think that he definitely has what it takes to defend some of the best talents in the league. A big test for Isaiah will be in week 5, because the George Kittle matchup is going to be rough with the 49ers back and ready to take what they believe is their division. If Isaiah is able to start off hot and carry that success past the 49ers, then we may be in store for a potential Pro Bowl year for the Clemson kid. Isaiah Simmons knows what it takes to win on some of the biggest stages in the football world. So if he can bring that experience to the desert, he might be able to wreak some havoc. Long time, somehow escapes, and now he goes down! Isaiah Simmons, the rookie! Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment down below what videos you want next. Anyways, see you all soon, and peace out.